Hey guys, it is Marla, and today we're gonna be filming a peachy prom makeup look. And no, I'm not going to prom, but I'm still coming out with a makeup look for you guys because dedication. Basically, this is a look that I would be wearing to prom if I was going, but since I'm 14, you know, I just like, I'm not, I'm in junior high, I'm not going. This video is in partner with Sephora Collection. If you guys didn't already know, I am a Sephora Collection ambassador for 2018, which is so exciting for me. So I get a partner with them throughout the year for when they come out with new products. So they came out with a total of 90 cream lip stains and hold on first off this packaging. It's literally a pizza box I can't even that this one even like fit on screen when I opened it I was like wow, that's like a lot of lipstick and then each of these have three layers of lipstick I'm just mind blown by how many shades there are look how many there are Are you kidding? There's literally a color for every mood you have throughout the day. So like if you're like feeling angry, there's some fiery reds. If you're feeling pretty neutral, there's some nudes. Like you literally could put on anything. There is even black. Like I'm not even kidding, like straight up black. Like if you're feeling emo for a quick second, put this on. There's definitely a shade for every single one because there's 90, not 19, but 90 shades. You really won't need to like reapply or touch up the lipstick throughout the day because they are lip stains and so they last longer. Like they said, they are pizza proof, which is important for a girl like me that loves pizza like I ate pizza last night the lip stains are also infused with avocado oil which helps to keep your lips moisturized and they won't feel like dry and crusty even though they are matte lip stains if you guys are not a big fan of matte lip stains they also have satin and metallic which is way cool there's literally so many things you could do with these and they're so affordable too if you guys are interested in any of these lip stains I'll have them linked down below and without further ado let's get right on into this makeup tutorial so I'm starting off by putting up my hair because I don't want to like Okay, so I just put up my hair into a little ponytail just to get my hair out of my face. But I'm going to start off with some moisturizer. I'm using Sephora Collection Rose Moisturizing Cream. And this one quenches and brightens your skin. So I really like this one. And it smells so good. I think out of all of their moisturizers, this one's my favorite because it smells really good. So I do know that this is a prom get ready with me. And I just want to put that out there. I am 14 and I'm not going to prom. A lot of my viewers are. And so I'm just doing a makeup tutorial for those of you that are going. This makeup tutorial is something that I would do if I was going to prom, probably won't be going to prom for another two years. So, <laughs> just putting that out there. So, you know, some of you guys are gonna be like, you're not, you're not old enough to go to prom. What are you talking about? Okay, so my skin is now moisturized and quenched and brightened. This is a holy grail, not gonna lie. This literally works so well. My face is always so puffy, especially in the morning. And so I use this and it's just basically cooling water. I don't know how this works, but it does. And I just put this underneath my eyes and anywhere it really gets puffy. So basically everywhere. I like to put it underneath my cheekbones too, just like in that area. And then down my nose and on the sides. So now I'm using my Sephora Collection Bright Future Concealer. This is my favorite concealer they have come out with. It's not like really thick, but it's not too loose. It's just that perfect like natural blend. I'm trying to make this makeup tutorial more on the natural side because that's something that I would want to wear. Putting this on where it's red and where I have any pimples or anything of the sort. And then just a little bit underneath my eyes. I don't like to put too much underneath my eyes because then I feel like it looks really cakey. And then I'm just gonna go on with my fingers and blend. And then whenever excess I have on my fingers, I just put it on my eyelids. That way it covers up the redness a little bit more. So it's now all blended out and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to bronzer and blush. So now I'm using my Heavenly Duo, the Benefit Hula Bronzer and then the Benefit Dandelion. I think these go together so well. Okay, there we go. I'm now gonna go ahead and use the same brush for blush and I'm just, I don't wanna like look like a Barbie doll or like a doll, but I want to have very blushed cheeks, almost like that sunburnt look, cause I feel like that ties in with the peachy eye makeup look that I'm gonna be doing, so. Okay, so I've now done up my face makeup and stuff like that. It's just very natural looking and very lightweight. That way I feel like when you're dancing at prom, you're not, feeling like your makeup sweating off. So the look I'm going for is a thicker but fuller natural looking brow, which I most, like I do most of the time, but a little bit more intense since it is prom. You're gonna be taking locks, locks. I'm gonna be taking lots of pictures, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows now. By the way, I do know I kind of have a unibrow, like it's a monobrow or whatever, and honestly I don't care, so no need to comment about it. Like I like it like that, so. And I'm going to be using my Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit in the shade number five. This shade is a little bit too dark for me because they were out of stock of the one that I needed. But... 
Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the actual eye makeup look and today I'm gonna be using the Too Faced peach palette I just thought since I am doing a peachy makeup look I should probably use the peach palette I actually got this recently and I love the way it smells and I really really love the colors So so I'm gonna start off by going in with the color white peach and peaches and cream and I'm mixing those Okay, and I'm mixing those two together just to kind of create a base for the eyeshadow look and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of just peachy and then summer yum I'm mixing those two together and I'm gonna put that into my crease and then I'm going to take the color just peachy and I'm gonna put that down on my lower lash line and blend the two together that's a really cute face <laughs> Stars shine and bright above and then I'm going to go in with my peach palette again and I'm going to take candied peach, this super pink one right here, and I'm going to pop it straight onto the center of my lid. And then I'm going to be taking the color Bellini, 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 <laughs> no, I'm going to be taking the color Bellini and I'm going to be mixing it with Luscious and I'm going to put that on the center of where I put the candied peach color, so like in the center of the peach color. Okay, so now I have the peachy eye makeup look and I'm gonna go ahead and define my eyes a little bit more by taking my Sephora collection retractable waterproof eyeliner and this is in the shade number 10 matte brown slash black and I'm just gonna pop this right on my waterline and a little bit on my lower lash line and now I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eye makeup look by putting on some mascara. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit of eyeliner. This is not eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit of highlighter and this is the Sephora collection golden hour which is in the shade dawn and it's really pretty goldy looking highlighter i like this highlighter because it looks more like an inner glow instead of i don't know i'm just i like more natural looking highlighters and so i really love this one and i'm gonna be wrapping everything up together by using sephora collection cream lip stain in shade number 84 this is a super pretty peachy berry color i really love the formula of this lip stain because it's not drying and it lasts all night and it's super silky smooth and all that good stuff they're super affordable they're only 14 dollars, which is pretty cheap in my opinion for a really decent quality lip stain. So I'm gonna focus this lip stain onto the center of my lips. So I know that looks really weird, but then I'm gonna take my finger and blend it out. Oh, this is actually such a pretty color. And I'm using my finger and not the direct applicator. Even though the applicator is great, I'm using my finger because it just is a little bit more natural looking. And I want this to be a glossy look, and so I'm gonna be using just a basic clear lip gloss and putting that over my lip stain. But that is it for today's makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I will have a link down below where you guys can purchase the cream lip stains because they are so good and I love all of the colors. They're so pretty and normally I'm not even like a lipstick person but I actually like really like these. And these cream lip stains will be available on the Sephora app on April 11th and they'll be available on Sephora.com on April 12th and then in stores on April 13th. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow at SC on Instagram because they'll have tons of giveaways and chances to win prizes when it gets close to the launch of the cream lip stains and that's about it for today's video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye